Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social Side, and today we are going to see about the alerts and monitoring in Azure Data Factory. So this is very important concept by which we can set up the alerts. So if your pipeline got filled or your activity got filled, then we want to send an email. So everything we will set in this video. So how we can set the emails that we will see. So let me go into the Azure Data Factory in the browser and then we'll start in the practice. So here as per the requirement, we want to load this data which is available in this CSV file to the SQL Server table. So this is the SQL Server table which is the item details STD type 1. So here we are having all the columns. Those are available in the blob storage. So we just want to load the data from this file to that table. And at the runtime, we will be going to create the custom error here and then we want to shoot an email. So how we can do that? So let me quickly go into the Azure Data Factory. Here, let me try to create a new pipeline. And this pipeline mainly call for alert pipeline, something like this. Then here we want to copy the data. So I'm going to use the copy data activity. And this copy data activity our source is the Azure Blob Stories. So we need to select the data set as we have already created the data set. So let me select that one. After that, let me open so I can show you that. So it is pointing to input folder of the item details dot CSV file. Now let me close this. Go to the sync by which we want to keep the file. So as I have already created the data set for that sync as well. So let me quickly open this. So this is pointing to Azure SQL SSU database and the table which is the item details dot SCD type one. So this is the same table. Now here after creating this, let me try to publish this. So once it will be published, so it will be saved in the Git repository. So now we have successfully created the pipeline and we have successfully published that as well. So for creating the alert and monitor, we need to go into the monitoring tab here. So let me click on this monitor tab. After that, in the notification section, we can see alerts and matrices. So let me go here. So here, as we can see, as I have, I have already created one of the alert here. So let me try to create a new one. So new alert rule. So let me click on this. So it is asking your new alert rule. So let me call this like alert pipeline fail. We can specify the description, whatever you want. Below of that, we can see the target criteria. So on what criteria we want to get the emails. So let me click on this plus symbol. So here the criteria is here. We are having all these matrix options by which we can set up. So in my case, I am going to execute this alert when the pipeline got filled. So this is the failed pipeline run metric. If your activity got failed and we want to get the notification, then we can see the failed activity run metric. So you can choose as per your requirement. I'm going to choose for the pipeline fail. Let me click on continue. So once we click on continue, then let me scroll in the bottom side. Here we can see selecting the dimension value which will help you to filter the right time series. So basically here we need to select the name then the failure type. So what pipeline we want to set up. So here we can see all those pipelines. So bottom pipelines that we can see alert pipeline. So I'm going to select this like if this pipeline got filled only then we want to see the message. So let me go in the failure type Then here in the failure type as we can see three options like the user error then the system error, then the bad gateway. So as we are going to select all these three here and after that we can see the alert logic. So what is the alert logic here? So alert logic is saying if your pipeline got failed and the count of the failure is more than zero, then we want to see the error message there. So that's why we have set up like this threshold value count as zero. So if this is greater than zero, then we will see the message. Then we can see the evaluate based on. So here we can see the period and after that the frequency. If we are going to select the period as over one minute 
or whatever value you want to set here. So I'm going to select for one minute and the frequency. It will be going to check on every one minute. Then let me try to update this criteria. Now, after doing this, here we can see the configure email, SMS, push and voice notification. So we can set all these here. So it will be going to charge for sure, but we are having all these options. We can send the email, we can send the SMS on your mobile phone, we can send the push, then we can send the voice notification. So let me click on this configure notification. Then it is asking to create a action group here. So let me quickly create a new action group. Let me call this as new alert action group like AG. Short name is new alert AG, the same name. Then here we can see the notifications. So let me click the notification. So here we will see all the options that we were talking about. First is the action name. So let me call this as action 01. Here we need to specify the email. So by which we want to get the notification on the failure of the pipeline. If you want to get the SMS notification, then you need to specify your phone number. I am from India. So that's why the country code is 91. You might be from the different location. So you have to specify your country code value here. So I have specified my mobile number as well. Here we can see the Azure app push notification if you want to configure that. So I'm not going to do that. Similarly, we can also set the voice notification. So voice not notification will be sent on your mobile number. So let me click on this add notification. Then let me click on this add action group. So new alert AG will be created here. So as we have click here. Then here we can see enable rule upon creation. So that will be going to on after creating this. So let me click on this. So it will be going to create new rule here and we will be going to see right there. So under this alert and matrices, we will see this. So here, let me try to delete this file. So if your source will not be having the file, then it will be going to fail like your pipeline. Now let me go here and go to the pipeline and under this pipeline if we want to get the notification then we should be able to execute this by using the trigger option and it should not be executed by using the debug option so as we have executed by trigger so it's running so go to the notification section under the monitor of the pipeline run and here we will see so we should see it's in progress so this should be failed soon as your source is not there. So as we can see alert got failed in 11 seconds. So everything is ready. We can go here into the outlook to check the image. So as we can see, we have already created this action group. So that's why we got the notification like this action group we have created and you are the part of that. Then we can see this alert message. So we got this alert message due to the failure. And if we can scroll in the bottom side, then we can see alert activated because what was the reason? The reason is this pipeline got failed due to the user error. So this was the error type by which this alert got activated and this is the pipeline. So we should go and try to check that pipeline. So after correcting this, we can execute that pipeline again. So this is the all about use of the alert inside your Azure Data Factory. So we have seen how inside the alert, how we can create that. What are the different options available by which we can set up the alert on your email, on your mobile phone through the SMS, on your mobile phone through the voice notification and then the push notification. So everything that we have already covered here. And I also got the notification on my mobile phone, but I cannot show you here because that is available on my mobile phone through the SMS we have received. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you really like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. See you in the next video.